welcome uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, what I wanted to show you and uh, what I want to show you is how you can, in fact, use the Konami code, which is a well-known uh, cheat code uh, used by, um, let's say, retro um, video gamers, which consists in activating uh, cheat codes on, uh, on video games. So uh, just the demo that I show you was the one of Street Fighter 2. Uh, turbo that I used to play with my uh, with my brother, uh, let's say more than two decades ago, and um, and yeah, um, actually I would like to explain you uh, how to use this uh, classic and standard method in order to uh, send data to uh, to Matomo Analytics. So uh, I got this idea because that's kind of a classic, and then I look through. Uh, different tutorial online in order to uh, learn how can I adapt it to Matomo uh, Tag Manager. I found out actually this uh, post uh, made by uh, Julius Fedorovicius uh, on Analytics Mania, which afterward uh, sent me to this uh, given uh, tutorial, uh, which actually uh, fits uh, fits my needs. So. Uh, what does the Konami code uh, stands for? Uh, by the way, the example I show you with Street Fighter 2 Turbo is not exactly the same as the following sequence, but this sequence seems to be more popular within uh, Konami video code. So it consists in the, you land on a, on a given website and then uh, you are going to type this sequence on your keyboard. So it's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and B, A. And then you get... <laughs> And then you get a website which is uh, fully transformed. So uh, the idea is, okay, how could I uh, apply this uh, given method to a Matomo Tag Manager? So um, what you need to do is that uh, you need to get the code somewhere. So I'm just gonna find it back on the page. So that was the one I was on uh, some minutes ago. So that was the one that I, that I really liked. Um, so actually, uh, here they are giving you a container JSON file for uh, Google Tag Manager, uh, so you can go within Google Tag Manager and then uh, pick up the container that they are going to give you. Or um, what you can do is definitely have a look at the one that I created, or at least that I just copied uh, from there. So it consists of one single tag uh, that you need to add, which is uh, the, you can call it whatever you want. This here it's named Economy Lister. So what this script is doing, um, it's in fact listening to this given sequence which correspond to uh, the sequence of the key that uh, you're going to press so the following uh, the following sequence okay so that's uh, what is over here so define as a variable so it's gonna uh, store those uh, sequence within a, an empty uh, array and then uh, it's gonna run the following function that you're gonna call so here in this case it's gonna send um, a push event uh, to the data layer of Matomo Tag Manager, but for the sake of this uh, example, we're going to make it even even easier to understand because I'm going to use like a pack uh, push pack push event uh, directly Matomo, and like this, going to make the example even more understandable. It's going to just fit within one uh, one line of code. So I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take this line of code. Oops, this one. Okay, and I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna delete uh, the following one because after all, I don't really uh, need this one. So I'm gonna call it like uh, interaction because that's an interaction, uh, Konami code, and I'm gonna call it, um, so Konami code, Konami code, and then I'm gonna say just the floss tutorial like this, you will know that it will, be working for the Floss tutorial. Okay, and um, that's what it's gonna do. In fact, if this sequence is pressed, then it's gonna fire this given line of code, which in my case is gonna send the Matomo event to uh, Matomo Analytics as far as I have Matomo on the page, which is gonna be the case. So uh, where do I set this given script? I set it on every, every pages. Okay, and um, so next, what I need to have. Um, so here, um, Geeky Visitors, I'm gonna change this given tracking code, which was sending the event. I'm gonna change it as a paid view. Okay, all good. Uh, so here, it's just gonna be like a Matomo classic tracking code, and it's just gonna be loaded on every, on every page. So let's just uh, delete this trigger, and uh, let's make it 
as a page view. Okay, so uh, so far, what do I have here? I have like two scripts. One is the Matomo tag, which is on all pages tracking the page view. And on the other side, I get this given custom HTML script, which uh, is applied on all pages. And if the following sequence, okay, so it's up, up, down, down, uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, and uh, BA is made, then I'm going to send a, a track event to Matum, okay? So nothing, uh, nothing crazy. I'm going to publish it. Uh, I'm going to call it Konami. Economy and simple events, simple event. Uh, I'm gonna publish it. I'm gonna leave the preview mode as it is, um, and I'm gonna go on my website. So that's my that's my website. I'm just gonna clear the cache. Uh, pay attention to that because that's definitely where I spent a lot of time on it. Pay attention as well that uh, the ad blockers are disabled. Okay, so here as you can see, I get. Uh, I get, uh, what do I get? Okay, so I get the Konami uh, listener and I get Matomo on my page, which is definitely fine. And if I look at, uh, so that's my page. If I look at uh, the my visits, so here so far, as you can see, I have not yet any event sent. Those are all the events, as you can see, we have not the value uh, flows. Uh, so let's try to activate this uh, this given script. So for this, it's going to be like uh, we said. So it's um, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and uh, B and A. Okay, so that's what I did. So nothing crazy happened here. That's because I just changed the the HTML code. But in the method which is provided by uh, analytics media and and this given uh, method here they are using um, a pack push event uh, which uh, push event which means that you would have normally seen it here which is better for debug and in my case let's see if that works uh, oh great it works as you can see interaction economic code and flows tutorial so just with one single um, HTML code the one that you can see over here uh, you can definitely make the Konami code uh, working, so it's nothing, uh, nothing crazy. It's just that it's going to be a little bit more difficult uh, to debug, so better probably to use the method uh, which is sending, in fact, um, a Matomo Tag Manager event, and then uh, thanks to the event that you have within Tag Manager, you can easily, uh, easily debug it. But this one will work. Uh, also, so uh, you may ask yourself, okay, but what's the point of doing it, uh, the Konami code? So first of all, it's uh, very well known and popular. So it helps uh, geek people, let's say, to feel more comfortable within uh, your website. But uh, one typical use case that you could have is like uh, organizing, uh, let's say, Easter eggs and uh, just say to your uh, uh, to your employees, if you have employees and if you have an internet on which uh, you get the uh, user ID, then you can in fact get the first name of the person and you can just launch a game in which uh, if someone uh, find out the page on which uh, they can fire the Easter eggs, uh, which is very geeky, then um, then you're going to offer them something. And then if you can uh, clearly identify the visitors who fired actually the Konami code, then as you get on them, you can uh, reward your employee uh, accordingly. And that's all that I wanted to show you for today regarding the economic code. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.